Hey folks, welcome to another VR video. This is going to be a quick video today. I had a interesting adventure over the weekend that I will get to in a different series of videos. Um, but I wasn't home and able to create content for today. So this is just a quick tip. Uh, I'm using my wife's account. You'll see her name here and not mine. I already did this step with my Oculus account, so she was nice enough to log into hers. Um, there are three applications currently, and there could be more in the near future, that are exclusively region locked to Japan for purchase on the Oculus Home Store. So if we look for the application here, we're going to search for the word Kizuna, and you'll see no items found. That's because in the US store, Kizuna AI Touch the Beat is not available. We're also going to search for Another application, this is XR Stadium. No items found. And then the third application that we're going to search for is an application called Virtual Cast. Now, Virtual Cast is available on Steam as well. And there's some things that have virtual, but no virtual cast. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit out of the Oculus app. I'm actually going to close the application. It's very important that you do that, because if you don't, it's going to recognize your current region information. And I'm going to open an application that does VPN. Now, I'm just using a simple application called TunnelBear. TunnelBear is very easy to operate. Uh, it does ask you to log into their account. Um, as you can see, I have 497 megabytes remaining this month. This doesn't take much because all you're doing is authorizing purchases. So we're going to scroll over to Japan. I'm going to click on Japan here. This little warp pipe here is going to connect. And now you've got a little bear that's connected to the United States. Now we're going to go back into the Oculus app. So if we click on the store, you'll notice it takes a moment, but already popping up on the screen in Japanese, we've got some new releases, and three of those releases are free. We've got Kazuna AI Touch the Beat, which is the aforementioned game that I was searching for. Now with this one, I've actually played little bits of all three. Kazuna AI is actually pretty fun. It's it's a rhythm game. Uh, there was also recently several other Japanese rhythm games that came out. I prefer this one over the Hatsune Miku one um, as far as actual gameplay mechanics. It does, I think it has a tutorial and two additional songs. So there's really only three songs to play, but it's free. So if you want to check it out and, and follow these steps to sneak into the Japanese store, um, it's probably worth checking out. XR Stadium is a 360 degree experience that definitely is catered to um, Japan. It, it's Right now it's just performances by idols in Japan. Probably not something that I would ever use. Uh, as you can see even on the screen here, uh, it's Exta and it's three Japanese idols. So it's 360 videos. It's not real VR content really, but it's being presented by this application called XR Stadium. It is not something that I feel like is even worth a download. And then the third application is Virtual Cast. Now Virtual Cast is available on Steam as well. And what it allows you to do is use an avatar um, where because you're in VR, it's gonna track your mouth movement it's also going to track your arms. Uh, you can actually set reactions uh, using the right controller stick. So you can look like you're angry or sad or happy or joyous and things of that nature. Uh, I haven't figured out how to actually use it to broadcast yet. Um, I was planning to make a video that includes both Virtual Cast and Kazuna AI and a couple of the other Japanese market titles that are also available in the United States. Uh, but but all we have to do now is if we add, if we press the free button on, on both of these applications, um, it adds it to the library. So now it's added to your library in VR. Now if I went into the Quest or Quest 2 headset, it would actually allow me, um, obviously using my wife's account, 
to download and play these applications. And you only have to do this once. So once you've hit OK, offers in-app purchases, those in-app purchases are not available yet, uh, but they are going to be adding more songs to Kazuna AI. I don't know if I would be picking up more songs or things of that nature, but those exist. I'm not even going to bother with XR Stadium, but you get the picture. So now I can go back out. Um, this is not a permanent thing. If we exit the store again, we'll close out. Now we'll go back to Tunnel Bear here. We'll hit Disconnected. Now we're back in the United States again. Go back to the Oculus app. Uh, again, we're not setting up a headset. This is just for demo purposes. Click on Store. And you don't see under the new and updated games we love. No Kazuda AI. We'll even click on New Releases so you can see that. And unfortunately, if I search for it, because it's already in the library, um, there's New Releases. Because it's already in the library, you would see it. So you see Saints and Sinners, Res Infinite, Homestar VR, but you don't see Kazuna AI scrolling through all these applications. But now, if we click on the little library icon, there it is. Kazuna AI and Virtual Cast are both in the library. So it is not a permanent thing you need to do. And if you want to check out what happens with other regional specific titles, it's a quick way to do so. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I will be back with more content soon. Until next time, get out there and enjoy some VR for yourself. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.